How you going? I'm Shane. Today's sad day. We've had some funny weather. You know, we're, it's the 3rd of December today. And um, it's, been, it's been cold. We had some nice weather last weekend. We were up in the low 30s, which is what you'd expect to get this time of year. And out here we get a fairly dry heat, so it doesn't knock you around so much as like that real hum humid 30 odd degrees. But um, then on Tuesday, it got cold and it rained for a couple of days. We had over 40 mil of rain. And now um, today's Saturday and it's cool. I've got a jumper on. It's December in Queensland. Crazy. So I went and spent about, sorry about the wind, but 600 bucks on um, some pretty good weed killer yesterday. We are thinking that it'd be nice because the weather was beautiful. Like yesterday, even though it was a bit cool, it was just fine and clear, just a bit cool, you know? And um, so, yeah, I bought some new butte. It's very similar to Grazon. It's a, it's another brand, basically, that the place in town here sells, and it's like 200 bucks cheaper for 20 litres. So it still cost me 600 bucks, but um, I had every intention of going out and doing some spraying this morning, but it isn't happening in this wind, which is a shame. But anyway, the window, you only got a window every year to get it done you know and then you know we've still got a fair bit of time left yet especially with all the rain we've been getting so hopefully tomorrow it'll be better i'll go and find some other things to do okay so yesterday jode and i were running around down the paddock here and sort of every couple of days we go down and check on the steers and everything else and we noticed that one of them's got a few welts and stuff on him and he looks a bit sore around his neck, but I'm thinking he's having a bit of a reaction to some flies. None of the others are, and the, none of the others have got barely got a fly on him, but he's covered in flies and he's got little welts all over him. So we've got a bit of stuff here and a bale of hay and we're gonna go down there and just chuck some hay over the fence and they'll come running over. And um, I'll squirt as many of them as I can and make sure I get him and um, then we'll just keep an eye on him for the next few days and see how he goes with it. I'll try and get some film of him so you can see what I mean, but he might be just having a reaction to them. They've only just started, the flies have only just started picking up, but hopefully there won't be any on him today because of this wind. So anyway, we'll get down there and we'll have a look. That's him there. You can see the little bit of red around his neck. Oh, old mate just jumped in front. They can smell the hay. I'll see if I can get some film of him before I... Got a bit of red around his eyes. And, um, actually, has he got pink eye? You got pink eye? You can see it there. No, he's all right. Have you? I'd better better look at him anyway. But you can see the others are all fine. But yeah, he must be just having a bit of a reaction to him this year for some reason. We always find with the black cattle. Look at that. They seem to struggle with it more than the brown cattle or the lighter coloured cattle. Look, look at these, he hasn't got a, barely got a fly on him. He has barely got a fly on him, you know, like, but yeah, for some reason, like, look at him, he's covered in them. But we'll, um, we'll put some stuff on him and we'll keep an eye on him over the next few days. He's not losing any condition, which is good. And then, um, yeah. So I'll just throw some biscuits of hay over here. Hopefully they'll all come in and start eating so he's getting a bit wary. And then we'll um And I know we should take them up the yards and do all this, but
Hopefully he stays in front. Come on, boys. So I'll give him a good hit. You can see he's all wet there. Gave him a good dose. Flies are already off him. So hopefully he'll be right now. But yeah, for some reason, they were worse on him than any of the other ones. But we'll just keep an eye on him over the next few days. And yeah, he should be all right. He's got little welts all over him. So none of the others have. I'd say he's just having a bit of an allergic reaction to him for some reason, but we never seem to have a problem with the lighter coloured uh, cows in this area or since we've been here. It always seems to be the darker ones, like anything black. So I made sure I hit most of them. And yeah, but like, look at this, this bloke here. I didn't even spray him. I barely got one fly on him. They just don't seem to hammer the lighter coloured ones as much as they do the black ones. Anyway, we'll do an update on him in a couple of days. Hopefully he's all good. So we ended up, uh, I scored this last weekend. Me, me in-laws bought it for me. So we're, we're gonna cook on it today. I'm not gonna do like a full video on how to cook and all that stuff. It'll just be a quick one, but we did a couple of chickens on it last weekend and they were absolutely beautiful. So I'll quickly show you how I'm gonna do the chook and I've got a bit of lamb there that we're gonna cook. It's a battery operated one. And um, yeah, just one of the Bunnings, it's a Jumbuck, I think they call them. 85 to $89 or something like that. But yeah, mate, we'll, um, we'll get that going later. We're gonna brine our chicken. A couple of bay leaves, some peppercorns, and a quarter of a cup of salt. And it'll be about half a bucket of water. I'm using a bucket because we can fit it in our spare fridge, so. Throw him in there. I'll give that a whisk. All right, throw your chicken in. And they'll float. Fill them up. Fill them up with water. That'll go in the fridge for about two to three hours. Okay, so we've got a seasoned chicken. She's out of the brine. She's on the spit. A lamb, rosemary, garlic, salt and pepper, a little tiny bit of bloody olive oil, and we're ready to throw it on. Yep, and we're ready to throw it on. Happy days. There it is. With a little bit of lump charcoal and just some heat beads, I'll spread them out a little bit. Probably a bit too much heat directly underneath it there. She's away. We'll check it in an hour. Look at that. We're just about done here. Got a few minutes to go and uh, we'll pull these off and we'll slice them up and yeah, the lamb looks like it's pretty well done. 
chicken looks awesome. And uh, yeah. Cracking. Perfect. Chicken's done. Uh, this is what we go for with our chickens. We don't want that real crispy skin on them. We sort of like that soft, real flavorful skin, you know, like that, that charcoal chicken. Um, like we come from down south where it's a bit colder and um, this was all the rage down there and I've never had it in Queensland. It's like I used, I'd go everywhere looking for charcoal chicken and you could not get it. And it's not a crispy skin chicken, it's a soft skin chicken that's really, really flavorful and yeah, cooked in charcoal and yeah, really nice. Really easy to do too. There it is. Yep, it's that time again. Time to move the cows. On our little rotational grazing program we're running here. They've been in here for a week. It's roughly 15 acres. And you can see where they've sort of eaten most of this down. That's where they're going into the week after next. This is where they're going into now. And the first thing they'll do is take all them little yellow flowers off. They love them. But there's our little setup. Go. Here's the fella that I sprayed yesterday and he's already looking better. Heaps better. So yeah, that's that that stuff's working. Right, we'll open this up and let him through. that yellow box. So this is what we're doing. This is me bad bit of fence line. And when we came here from way down there, like you can see where I put those star pickets in there, all that down there was laying flat on the ground. And I've slowly been clearing this, as you can see by all the dead lantana, lantana, whatever you want to call it. And um, working my way up. Look how dodgy that is. And... Um, yeah, so the idea is eventually to get it all cleared out and I'm going to replace all this fencing all the way up to the top of that hill. And I've worked my way down from the other side. There's about 30 metres here. Look at this. That is like that. So we're going to come in here. And I've got my machete with me. And I'm going to try and cut a path through there. And there's the fence there. And I'm doing that now because there's no cattle in here. And believe it or not, it was I left it because they couldn't get up in here and I didn't have to worry about them crashing through the fence. So but while there's no cattle in here, we'll get it all cleared out. Check it out. Anyway, I'll get into it. Wow. All right. I'm pretty buggered. But, um... I've gone from where I started this video up to, look at that. I stopped for a couple of little breathers, but um, yeah, pretty well continual. Went for about an hour and a half. 
and now I'm back up to where I've come in from the other side. But that was with poison. None of this had been poisoned. But um, now I'll clean all this and I will poison all this. I'll walk down and show you how far I've come with the machete. All with the old, wow, hard yakka. <laughs> we'll walk back down. Hopefully they don't fall over. But there's a fence at least. And it's not as bad, the wire isn't in as bad a condition as I thought, but I'll bring up the poison, we'll poison all this now. And then we'll, um, this will all wilt down to nothing. And then, uh, look at that, it's all good. It was the same up the other end, we all got all that back, so. There's a dead tree here that I had to chop around. And, um, fence is good there the wire is good which is i'm stoked about yeah had to chop around this thing and um yeah i'll bring the chainsaw up and clean that up and there's other trees along there and this is where we started all right just down here sunday afternoon Giving the boys a bit of hay, steers. The only reason we do this is so that it's easier for us to handle them. Have us close to them. There's a fellow that was covered in flies yesterday that we sprayed and he looks so much better today. Doesn't he, Jade? Yeah. Unreal. So he'll come along nice now. We'll keep an eye on him though. pumping they're loving it good times good times this little fella up here they they bullied him yesterday and he didn't get any hay so i'm glad he's having a feed today not that it looks like he's starving but Such a friendly little yeah that's why they do it you know good natured all right that's it just free the girls a bit of lick Some cattle ration, it's good, keep them quiet too, get the calves up close to us. That's the first one that was born, she's the biggest. Down to the last one there, that's little B to the right. I think, or is that little B at the back? No, I think it's a little bee at the back. Little bee's got the white chest. Oh, okay. It's a lighter chest. Here's our little bull steer, little bull calf, sorry, at the front. But his sister's just a tad bigger than him, I think. She was the first born. She's standing behind him. And now uh, they look good. Even all the mums look good. Everyone's healthy. Everyone's happy. We had a few misfires this year. We're going to give them one more shot. And hopefully they um, go again, you know. Like our bull was very, very young. But now I know what I know now. He was too young. But anyway, you live and learn, don't you? Happy days. Whoa. Today's Wednesday. 37 degrees. Summer's here. Last week we had jumpers on and tracksuit pants anyway it's all good i'm gonna wander down the shed and have a bit of a muck around and yeah but thanks heaps for watching the videos and we'll see you on the next one cheers